Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to quickly talk about a solution in order to integrate Matomo into business intelligence software. The example I will use here is uh, Tableau software. I'm not an expert on the topic, but I will explain uh, overall uh, how it's going. Uh, here I'm going to talk mainly for the people who are using Matomo within the cloud, so let's say on Matomo cloud. So there's a new feature uh, recently appears. So you can access it by uh, clicking over here on the administration and then export. And here you get a uh, BigQuery and Data Warehouse. In fact, the name specifically will be more Data Warehouse rather than BigQuery. In fact, what they meant by BigQuery is like, uh, that's the first solution that they tested out. So uh, this is where you get more uh, documentation about it within Matomo. So um, how does it work? The concept is uh, simple. The idea is to give an access to the raw data to a business intelligence uh, platform. And the idea is to have an intermediary, which is a data warehouse. So the data warehouse is a let's say a safe place in order to store your Matomo data without putting down your existing Matomo, so to say this one. So what this tool is doing, the one that we are currently having a look at here, is the possibility for the people who are within the cloud to be able to export uh, data. This export is done uh, over here, so this is what we can uh, and what we can see here is like the Matomo team is putting at your disposal some data feeds, uh, which are over here, that you can uh, use, that you can download if you are in the cloud in order to inject them within a data warehouse that after this you can use with a BI tool. So it looks like super complicated, like, uh, explained like this. But if you have a look at uh, their documentation, so uh, data warehouse BigQuery Matomo, and that you follow it carefully, you will be able to export the data from the Matomo cloud database to a data warehouse. So here the example that they are taking and they are giving you step by step, by step which works, is the one of uh, Google BigQuery. And if you do so, you will use the data warehouse of Google BigQuery, and then you can use it with BI tools such as uh, Tableau or any other BI tool which support the integration of BigQuery. It doesn't mean that this export is only for BigQuery. You can use this method for other data warehouse such as Microsoft Azure or AWS. It's just that the documentation is not yet uh, developed, so it's more experimental. I mean, it's more like you need on your own uh, to fill in the different form without having a documentation. But I'm pretty sure that those documentation may come soon. So uh, in my case, I followed the Google BigQuery tutorial. It's it's not that long, but as is, it was the first time for me to go through it, uh, it took me some time. Okay, so um, how did it work? Well, in fact, uh, you create a project within the Google Cloud. Um, then after you need to put your credit card, uh, you get some token. With those tokens, uh, you create a kind of a project and then uh, you add uh, your, uh, your data feed by filling in a form, which is uh, the one that, that you have over here. And then when this part is down, then your data, let's say your backup data, which have been uh, over here, will be duplicated within uh, Google BigQuery. So here in my case, here they are. Uh, so this is the table with getting imported with uh, the data within it. And then, so this is, this is my data. And then what you are going to do is like when you are within your BI tool, so to say here in Tableau, when you add a data source, so uh, you go you go something like this, you say, hey, I have a new data source, this is the connector, then you can pick up Google BigQuery, but as I said previously, 
you could have picked up Amazon S3 or you could have taken as well uh, Microsoft if you were copying your data within, within it. And then uh, you select your uh, account, which gets uh, the uh, Google BigQuery credentials. And then you are able to uh, get an access to your data. So typically here, you select uh, the project that you have an interest in. And if you do so, uh, so log visits, in my case, uh, that's the one then you get the same data as I was having a look at some minutes ago, and then you can use those data within your BI tool in order to do uh, whatever you want with it. So um, I'm not going to explain much uh, in detail about um, what you can do and showing you the graph in, in Tableau or whatever, but the idea was just to tell you that it's now possible. It's going to solve a lot of issues in terms of integration with BI tools. It's not an easy solution because it's like you need to understand the different connection and you need, in addition to this, to know the different SQL uh, sequences that you will need to make to make the junction between the different table. But if you are looking for basic, uh, let's say, report and basic data updated, uh, regularly and to play with, uh, let's say, a big amount of, of data. Uh, that's typically an option that you can uh, consider. And if you know uh, SQL, you will be as well uh, able to, to make it. And that's probably the easiest way, uh, of course, if you want to bypass the use of the Matomo API. Thanks for watching.